Hey everybody, it's Jamie here, that's me, and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Hold your horses, have you seen days one and two? It's obligatory. <laughs> it's day three of my cruise on MSC Virtuosa, and today we have arrived in very exotic Portland, UK. <laughs> Now then, today I am actually on an excursion to Stonehenge. I mean, I think I'm as old as those rocks, to be honest with you, so I'll fit right in. It's going to be an interesting day. I only live 40 minutes up the road from Stonehenge, but I've never been there. Um, also, I've got a few things planned for this evening that are going to be absolutely superb on board the ship. So, shall we do this together? You and I? Yeah, let's do this. Come on. Coming up on day three, we enjoy in-room dining. We reach Portland, UK, and it's time for the first excursion of this trip to Stonehenge. And yes, I get all cultured with stone circles, Neolithic houses, and uh, pasties. We see Portland from a different perspective, almost get blown out of the water, try to have a totally sober day, enjoy the ship's venues, enjoy a stunning meal at Ola, the ship's onboard speciality Mexican restaurant, and the usual fun, frolics, and mischief. Oh, there's a knock at the door, there's a knock at the door, there's a knock at the door. Oh yes, it's breakfast time. I've got bubbles as well, actually, that were delivered last night, but I think I'll refrain from that. Ooh, a couple pancakes, some berries. Oh, my butler knows I love me coffee. Look, all of that for one. Thank you, butler. Oh, and what a beautiful start to the day look. Oh, it's, I love grey. So Portland is, of course, a work in port. Uh, you can't just get off the ship and walk around. You would have to take uh, one of these shuttles to the entrance. Um, we are indeed going on our excursion. I expect one of these is for us. Hopefully it's not that double-decker because we're going some distance. Let's go get Stonehenged up, eh? Oh, yes. One... Right, so I've been told I need to meet at the top sail lounge in the yacht club for this. Maybe we get escorted somewhere. If I'd had time, I would absolutely have had breakfast in the um, yacht club restaurant today. However, we can do that tomorrow, can't we? We've got things to do. And of course, on the top sail lounge, they have, um, oh, I'm sorry. They have some breakfast items here as well. Oh, they had a little meet and point table in here, ticked me off, gave me some orders for the journey. Very nice. This Stonehenge tour, I think, lasts about six hours and was £88. Ouch. Oh my goodness, and they even bring you coffee when you wait in. The Yacht Club way. Wow, we're being escorted off the ship to our coach. Never had this before. Very nice of them. Honestly, it doesn't get more exotic than this, folks. And I am on board. Not very busy at the moment some very tired looking people today. Not surprised though, we had really choppy seas last night. What is it I say? Choppy around the channel, chilly around the willy. No, it was rough. Um, and being on deck 18 at the front, oh yeah, I could feel it. I don't mind that kind of thing. I like a bit rough at sea, but I can see that some others found that tough going. Uh, they got bags like this this morning. Apparently tonight it's gonna be just the same. Give me those rough seas, give them to me. There's our chariot. God bless you, and all you vessel in ya. I know, she's a big girl, isn't she? Just a two hour journey there, and two hours back. I should have done this from home, 40 minutes. Well, if you're unfamiliar with England, you do get a beautiful drive through the Dorset countryside. Oh, by the way, that arrow in the top right hand corner, yep, that's where I live. There you are, two hours on the nose to get here. Alrighty, I've collected my wristbands. I'm free to explore the 4,500 year old stone circle. So just down from the car park, you've got some bathrooms, restrooms, toilets, bogs, loos, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to take a shuttle bus to the stone circle itself. Just for your info. So this is ordinarily where you would buy or collect your tickets. More bathrooms here as well. Cafe in here, very busy, I must say. Handy little seating area. 
And just to the left, we've got the shuttle to Stonehenge. So these seem quite regular to me. You could actually walk up to the stone circle. Um, this is the route. I'm not sure how long that will take. I'll find out for you. Here we go. And here we are. That took about five minutes. If you were to walk that route, about 30 minutes, according to one of the members of staff I've uh, had a little combo with. It is quite exposed in these parts. Make sure you dress appropriately, like me. <laughs> Shorts, pumps. <laughs> That's the way I roll. Don't judge me, darlings. And then a short walk from your shuttle to the stone circle. And there you are. They look much bigger from the road. <laughs> Just proving I'm here. Stonehenge is a huge man-made circle of standing stones. Built by our ancestors over many hundreds of years, it's one of the world's most famous prehistoric monuments and probably one of its biggest mysteries too. It's thought that work started on the stone circle around 5,000 years ago. It may have taken over a thousand years to build. Well, that's quite cool. Midsummer sunrise, and no doubt over here we're gonna have sunset. Oh, like clockwork. To this day, no theory has been proven as to how the stone circle was built. Damn it. The largest sarsen stones here each weigh a whopping 22 tons, as heavy as four African elephants. Whilst I wouldn't recommend doing this excursion independently from the ship in Portland, it's a long way, don't miss the ship. Here's a look at the prices. Alrighty, we're gonna check out the reconstructed Neolithic houses and the museum as well. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Really not the kind of thing I would ordinarily do. <laughs> now then, you're only here for two hours, 15 minutes. So you need to plan your return to the car park quite carefully, whether you're walking or taking a shuttle. I think the lines can get quite long. I've been lucky so far this morning. Oh my gosh, I'm sure I can smell pasties. Look, I'm from Devon. I can smell a pasty a mile off. And we exit through the shop, just like a Disney ride. Wow, that's heavy. Bronze cold cast trilithon, 60 pounds bargain, eh? You know what? As cynical as I may be, this is a nice shot. Oh, if any of my patrons are watching, you know what's gonna happen now, don't you? Yep, let's rummage for your postcards. I've got you covered, patrons, don't you worry. Go on, admit it, who wants a Stonehenge t-shirt? Not me. Oh, now that has definitely piqued my attention. Oh my goodness, you can even buy a horn. Oh, I can definitely invest in this section, folks. Gotta pass through, gotta pass through, gotta pass through. It's good luck. How I'm hungry, I don't know, but I am. Let's eat. Alrighty, we've got paninis and croque monsieur, drinky booze, selection of sandwiches. Oh, Mexican bean and avocado, yummy. Oh my God, I told you I could smell these pasties a mile away. Oh, those scones look great as well. Sultana scone and a cheese one. You can take the boy out of the West Country, but you can't take the pasty out of the boy. And just in case you didn't know, this crimp part of pasty is the part you're supposed to hold it with, originally made for miners so that they didn't get their grubby hands all over the good part. There you go, this is all for free. Let's continue our tour. We are back at the visitor center. Very helpful map here. Oh look, they're putting together an exhibit. Very pretty. Yeah, I could do that on my own, with my little finger. The big question is how many of you would it take to move one of these sarsen stones? Just the one of me. These reconstructed Neolithic houses are based on the archaeological remains of buildings excavated at Durrington Wars just over a mile from Stonehenge. Oh, I think we can go inside. Oh, this is much bigger and nicer than our flat in Basingstoke. Matthew, we need to come here. Oh, look at this. Still pretending to be cultured. It's like Chris Hemsworth. 
So as I said earlier, this tour costs 88 pounds, which is a lot. Uh, yes, it is at some distance, two hours coach journey. It's not something I would ever consider doing independently from a ship in Portland. Um, and of course you only get two hours, 15 minutes here. Although I will say, I do think that is ample time. For most people, it's gonna be the only way of exploring and experiencing Stonehenge. So it probably is worth the ticket price. Me, however, I could have just driven for 40 minutes from home and come independently. Such is life. I've had a nice time. Emma Cruz is though, she's in Japan. She's been sharing pictures and um, laughing at me coming here. But you know, this is history. This is real life, Emma Cruz is. Little tip for you, take a picture of your coach. Um, I know there's a number in the window, but every coach here has got a number in the window. And I'm not good with vehicles. Every coach looks the same to me. I mean, take it or leave it. Don't like my tip? Tough. Just don't do it. Oh, but come on now, don't be ungrateful. Don't make me cross. So um, on the boat, you can see all the wildlife beneath you. Our coach guide has been very kind enough to drive us all the way up the hills. So we've got a good view of Portland. Back. Hey, Virtuosa. Sexy angles. Whew. And there you go. Six hours. Just like that. And here we are back in the Galleria. Ah, oh, look, that's Hola Speciality Dining. Tacos and Cantina. I'll be there later. Can't wait. Oh, look. Send off by Canon today. Let's hope they're not pointing it at us. Don't stand in front. Oh God, I'm quite scared. Oh, we're moving. Holy crap. Bye Portland. Oh, he's not doing it again, is he? Oh, oh my heart can't cope anymore. I'm done. I'm spent. Right, we are heading to Belgium and it is time to start this evening. What is that in my hand? Oh, look, Prosecco. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much, Jamie. Ooh. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. What is going on tonight with all this banging? Cheers, everybody. Here's to a fabulous evening. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that is nice. Try not to get through the whole bottle. Love to you all. Well, especially you, but not you. Oh, it's top lounge time. Oh, what nibbles have we got here tonight? We've got focaccia, salted cone with manchego. Nice. Look at all this, look. Oh, look what I've got at the top cell lounge. Espresso martini. This was the strongest espresso martini I've ever had in my life yesterday. It was very good though. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't very good after. Cheers, everybody. Well, that's me super embarrassed. I just went into our yacht club restaurant, completely forgot I put a table at Ola, the Mexican restaurant. I had to literally get up and leave. Sorry. All right, let's go and see how busy the rest of the ship is. Try and get a drink somewhere else, shall we? Let's get out of the yacht club. Oh, what's going on here? It's like a veritable party already, look. Oh, I do love my little galleria, I must say. Awesome. Oh my goodness, I've managed to actually get a seat in Masters of the Sea. Didn't know they did uh, pub grub here, folks. Look at this, look. Fries, battered fish and chips. I thought I could smell something fishy, I've got to be honest with you. Yummy. Beer tails and mules. Wow, unique. Again, everything on this menu is featured in the deluxe drinks package. And whoa, seven pound for a bottle of bud. Ooh, that's ouch. This is the champagne bar. So called because they sell, um, oh, what's that stuff called? Oh my goodness, look, you can get caviar and oysters here, chilled platters, all the kind of things that would make me literally hurl chunks, I'm afraid. I'm sure it's gorgeous for you lot though. You're all like, oh my God, Jamie, you're wearing white trainers. Yeah, I am, damn right I am. And they're from uh, Primark. Oh, look who's working today. 
Bob's been out of order for a little bit. Or is it Rob? Or is it... Oh, I don't know what he's called. Do I get one? Hmm. Ah, uh, there you are, look. It is Rob, the robotic bartender. I wonder how much these cost now. When I came here last, um, a few years ago, they were extortionate. Scan your card below to start. Oh, all right. Right, 14 pounds. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Is, is that a lot? That's a lot. So these cocktails made by Bob Rob Blob himself, all coming in at 14 pounds. Hmm. Do I want to see a robot shake my uh, cocktail? I'm not sure. Oh, damn it. I'm going to do it. Why not? Go on. You only live once, don't you? Goodness. It's just said error, error, error. Okay. I think that's a sign. I'm not doing it. Bring me my black hole. Don't turn your back on me, though. That's more like it. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Come on. Put on a good show, Robert. This cost me 14 quid. That looks like the banana liqueur. And now I think I've got passion fruit. And now he's going for the soda. Nice shot. Or as they would say on the BG 45 satellite. Hey. Thanks, Robert. Down again. Here it comes. Awesome. Well, that's what should have happened on this occasion. However, if you would rather just get your cocktails, cheaper cocktails might I add, from the bar at the Starship Club, well, here's a look at that all-important menu. And yes, all of these drinks are included in the deluxe drinks package. Ooh, shiny, I love this. I want this at home. Oh look, Andersheen, it's a Vietnamese restaurant with, apparently, a French twist. Looks nice. If only I had more time on board. Speciality dining at Andersheen came in at £34 per person. Always check costs in advance of speciality meals as these can fluctuate. But here's a look at that menu. Here we are. I am so hungry. I could eat a scabby pony. Oh, I hope this is as good as it was the first time I came a number of years ago. Oh, it's super colourful in here. Love it. I imagine there'll be a lot of tequila on the menu as well. Oh, frozen margarita. I might have to go for one of those, you know. Oh, the pineapple one sounds yum, yum, yum in my tongue. Oh, look, guac made to order. If Matthew were here, we'd be having that without doubt. But I'm much more into me chips and salsa. I might have to go with habanero fuego. I mean, all you can eat for $17.99 is a really good deal. Uh, having said that, eating on my own, I'm sort of counting things up and I don't think mine would come to that. If I were with someone else, I'd be all over it, I'm sure. That's good value. Pineapple margarita, why not? Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> it's really good. And it's so cold, frozen beautifully. There you go, I've got my chips and salsa. I've gone with the spiciest. I hope it's spicy, I'd be disappointed otherwise. This is gonna blow my brains on, out. This is gonna literally make my brains explode. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's gonna make my eyes water and my nose run. Oh shit, that's spicy. And I love it. I'm having a tortilla soup with chicken. I've got a couple of tacos coming, uh, the chipotle carnitas and the al pastor, and I'm having a burrito. Awesome. Wow, oh, these tacos look beautiful. Really nicely presented. This is the carnitas. Ooh, that's so good. They got such a range of flavors and textures. A little bit of smokiness, delicious. This is our pastor. Oh, dripping. So this is the one that has a little bit of pineapple as well. Mm. I mean, they're both so good. I love the sweetness of the pineapple in that one. This is why you need to probably have a whole plate of all of the tacos. 
It's so good. Oh, I love the Serbia and the cutlery, actually. I wonder if they notice if I take it home. Wow, look at the size of the tortilla soup. It's huge. I get to use this very cool spoon. Why am I winking so much tonight? Oh, that smells amazing. Mm. But the broth is really rich and flavoursome, not too thick either, which I like. Uh, nice kick of heat, a little bit of cilantro. Delicious, really good. The burrito looks beautiful. It's very small though, considering it costs about eight or nine pounds. No idea what sauce that is, but we'll have a little bit of that, won't we? Uh, thank you very much. Let's do this. Surprisingly, that's actually much more subtle than anything else I've eaten so far. It actually, it's good. It's just not as flavoursome as all the other dishes. And yet this is kind of like builders, I suppose like a main, it costs a lot more than the other dishes as well. You know what, you're better off having a wide range of tacos, having the chips, the guac, a bit of soup, than a burrito. It's nice, but everything else is excellent. So nice isn't excellent, obviously. Oh my God, I'm so full up, back in the cabin. It was a late night last night, an early start today. I feel like I might need to just chill out for a little bit. Oh, we've got things. What have we got here? Daily program, excursion tickets for tomorrow when I go to Bruges. And uh, looks like I've had my ice topped up. Thank you so much. Oh, and what's in the magic box today? Like little biscotti. Moment of truth. What time have I got to get up in the morning? I'd love a lion. I really would. Yes, it's not till quarter past 11. Oh my God. God, awesome. Oh my goodness, it's also white night tomorrow. So I get to wear my white shorts, my white shoes, my white polo. I'm gonna look bloody awesome. <laughs> Either that or a boy band reject. And holy macaroni, we're losing an hour sleep tonight since we're heading east, damn it. I'm gonna put a horror film on, I think, before bedtime. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but horror is one of my favourite uh, film genre. Oh, I haven't seen Nope. Oh, no fair. You've got to pay for it. Come on. All right, trash TV it is then. I ain't paying to watch a film. You can watch that for free at home, for goodness sake. Oh, I think I'll have something to live with. Yeah, why not? Fly, my beauty, fly. Mwah. Oh, I am so full. I am so tired. I need to lay off the booze. I really do. Oh, a bit late for that. What would Matthew do? Probably do that with me. <laughs> but it's been a good day, hasn't it, folks? It's been fun. Are you going to come along with me tomorrow, though? I'm going to Bruges in Belgium. I haven't been there for years. I want free mayo, beer, and a canal boat ride. Then my life will be <laughs> made. Uh, not necessarily in that order either, actually. Uh, don't forget, it's white night tomorrow. Woohoo! I'm not going as a pillow or anything like that, don't you worry. I've got all my clothes ready. It's going to be awesome. It's also our last day. Can you believe it? It's flown by. Anyway, it is time for bed. I got this wrong yesterday. <laughs> if you watched my last vlog, I love you all. Even you, your naughty little rat bag. I was going to say shh bag then. Even you, I love you, and I love the rest of you. So, oh. <laughs> good night, everybody. Miss you already. Mwah. And coming up on day four, they still call me Two Breakfast Jamie. Will we ever manage the rope course? We head to Bruges. And oh yes, we've got chocolate factories, chocolates, macarons, canal boat rides. Under the bridges we go. Ah, a bit of culture, lots of free mayo, fabulous early sunny evening sunshine, back on Vietorza. And we do white night in total style. Sunsets, a fabulous meal, out and about on the ship. A white night party extravaganza and of course you'd be disappointed if we didn't engage in some late night naughty pizza thank you all for your continued support and today's shout outs for my tiers three and four patrons if you'd like to become a patron head to patreon.com forward slash travel blog jamie
As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Instagram, Threads, X, Patreon, and YouTube. <laughs>